The movie starts with the introduction of a woman named Marissa Wilson. She works for the OSS, which stands for the Organization of Super Spies. She is currently on a mission to spy on a criminal named TikTok, who is purchasing a mini-disc stolen from the OSS. Even though she's nine months pregnant, she maintains her pursuit, ignoring her boss's concerns. When TikTok proceeds to leave, she tries to follow, but soon begins to feel contractions. Marissa then calls her husband Wilbur, who is a TV host. Wilbur, on the other hand, is unaware that his wife is a spy and believes she's an interior designer. She informs him that she's having a baby soon and asks him to reach the hospital. She then hangs up and runs to an abandoned building, where she quickly beats TikTok's men. Soon after, her boss, Danger Damo, arrives with cops and arrests TikTok. Marissa then states that this is her final mission because she wants to devote her time to her family. When she arrives at the hospital, she meets her husband and stepkids, Rebecca and Cecil. Eventually, she gives birth to a girl, whom she names Maria. The scene shifts to a year later, where we see Marissa's family gathered for breakfast, except for Wilbur, who is busy with his spy hunter show. He shares his plan that if his show succeeds in five years, he will spend all his remaining time with his kids, but the kids don't seem thrilled. When Wilbur returns home in the evening, Cecil asks if he's caught any spies yet, and he responds no. As he goes to greet Marissa, Rebecca becomes jealous and walks away. Even though Marissa has been her stepmom for two years, Rebecca still hasn't warmed up to her, and she misses her own mom. Sometime later, Marissa goes into the twins' room and gives Rebecca a photo of her mom, making her happy. Marissa says she wants them to be good friends despite their differences, and she gives Rebecca a special red sapphire necklace that her parents gave her when she was Rebecca's age. Rebecca seems pleased, but as Marissa leaves the room, one of Rebecca's pranks backfires on her, and she storms out, clearly annoyed. Meanwhile, Wilbur is wondering how to capture a spy for his show when Marissa enters the room. The two of them then tune into the news, where they learn that scientists are reporting a phenomenon where time is accelerating rapidly. Hours feel like minutes, minutes like seconds, and seconds like nanoseconds. A criminal genius known as the Timekeeper claims responsibility, saying he will unleash Project Armageddon as revenge on a society he believes wastes time on worthless pursuits rather than cherishing time with loved ones. Meanwhile, TikTok can be seen behind Timekeeper, which worries Marissa, but Wilbur is delighted to find an opportunity to become famous. Later, Timekeeper orders TikTok to retrieve the Chrono Sapphire, which turns out to be the jewel embedded in the necklace Marissa gifted to Rebecca. The next morning, OSS contacts Marissa and requests that she bring the Chrono Sapphire with her. Meanwhile, Rebecca is writing a letter of apology to Marissa for her prank the previous night. Moments after, Marissa enters and asks about the necklace she gave her yesterday. Upon hearing this, Rebecca becomes angry and returns the necklace in a box. Marissa then instructs her loyal dog, Argonaut, to watch over the children and departs the house with Maria. In the meantime, TikTok and his accomplices arrive at Marissa's house to get the Chrono Sapphire. Suddenly, the alarm system alerts the twins to go to the panic room, but Rebecca believes it is a joke. As intruders burst down the door, Rebecca and Cecil head to a panic room, where they watch a video of Marissa informing them about her secret job. It turns out that their dog, Argonaut, is not a dog, but rather a robot created to protect them. Argonaut then begins speaking to them, which surprises the kids. After that, Argonaut tells the children to sit on a chair while the panic room is under attack. Soon after, the chair transforms into jets, and they escape the house. However, their pursuers manage to trail them, and Marissa's system directs them on how to pilot the jet safely. Unfortunately, Cecil becomes nauseous and opens a window. Due to this, the attackers try to take Rebecca's necklace, but Cecil tosses his puke bags at them, causing one of the attackers to lose their balance and fall. Rebecca urges Cecil to repeat this, so he throws the remaining vomit bags at the other attackers allowing the kids to evade their pursuers. Just then, Argonaut calls Marissa to inform her of the situation. Marissa then orders him to take the children to OSS headquarters, where they will be secure. When the kids get there, 
They are greeted by Marissa's niece, Carmen Cortez. She leads them to the chamber where she and her brother Junie began their spy job as children. There, the kids find some devices that fail to activate. Carmen then takes them to the lounge and leaves them there before returning to work. Elsewhere, Marissa arrives at TikTok's hideout and spies on him. Shortly after, TikTok becomes aware of Marissa's presence and dispatches his men to confront her. However, Marissa swiftly defeats them in a matter of seconds, leaving TikTok with no choice but to flee from the scene. On the other hand, Rebecca and Cecil aspire to become spies and try to activate the Spy Kids Division's devices. However, since their gadgets remain unresponsive, they decide to rely on their skills and head out to find Timekeeper. Outside, OSS personnel notice their presence and assume they've entered without authorization and try to catch them. Using Argonaut's advanced techniques, the kids manage to outwit the employees and escape. They then come across a room and discover that spies tried but failed to identify the Timekeeper's hideout. Cecil then realizes it's an anagram and figures out the location of Timekeeper, which is a watch store. The two then skillfully use their tools to escape the situation and eventually arrive at the watch store. After this, Carmen calls Marissa and informs her that the kids have left and Marissa asks for their location. Meanwhile, the kids discover a secret door in the shop that leads to a room. But to walk through, they must avoid the rotating clockwork. After some effort, they successfully maneuver around the obstacle and stumble upon a documentary video. The video narrates the Wells experiment, which took place in the 1930s. During this experiment, an Armageddon device froze a child in time. Eventually, many years later, the child was able to escape with the help of a sapphire crystal. Rebecca finally understands that the attackers are after her necklace. The duo then tries to run away, but soon, TikTok finds them and takes them to the Timekeeper. The Timekeeper then insists that Rebecca surrender the necklace. However, just as the situation escalates, Marissa and Carmen arrive on the scene. A fierce battle ensues between Marissa, Carmen, and the Timekeeper along with his henchmen. Amidst the chaos, the kids' devices finally activate, enabling Cecil and Rebecca to take down the enemy forces. Meanwhile, Wilbur arrives at the building using a spy detector along with his cameraman. He becomes aware of the ongoing fight and captures the footage, intending to broadcast it. During the fight, Argonaut manages to bring down various enemies, but as more henchmen arrive, Marissa orders the children to leave. While they make their exit, TikTok seizes the opportunity to take the necklace. Outside, Marissa leaves the children in Carmen's care and proceeds to leave. On the way, she receives a call from Wilbur, who informs her that he has successfully captured footage of the spy fight in the watch shop. Hearing this, Marissa gets worried and she hangs up the call. Later, when Wilbur shows the video to his superiors, he recognizes that his wife and kids are in the footage. In a fit of rage, he spills coffee on the computer and destroys the original tape. As a consequence of his actions, Wilbur is promptly fired. He gathers his belongings and leaves the place. Later on, Wilbur encounters Marissa along with Maria, who is waiting for him. She apologizes to him, but he is furious at her dishonesty. Marissa clarifies that she didn't disclose her secret profession because she retired on the day she gave birth to their daughter and requests a second chance. However, Wilbur states that he needs time to come to terms with the situation and drives away from there. As time continues to speed up, OSS agents are debriefed on the Wells experiment. The Armageddon kit is securely stored on the highest security level, known as Level 13 within the OSS. Danger reveals that if the Armageddon device is successfully stolen, the world will come to an end. Among the agents assigned to the critical case is Carmen's estranged brother, Juni Cortez. He is handed his OSS badge, but Carmen throws it away because she's angry at him for disappearing. Following that, all the spies are dispatched on a mission to find the timekeeper. Sometime later, Danger approaches Rebecca and Cecil and praises them for their work earlier. He then apologizes for not sending them on a mission and tells them to cherish their family while they still have their chance. While Danger is departing, Rebecca notices that his watch is similar to the timekeeper. Cecil also discovers that his name, Danger, is an anagram of Armageddon. 
Hearing this, Danger immediately closes the door and reveals that he is, in fact, the timekeeper. He then locks the kids in the room and runs away from there. Marissa, Carmen, and Junie are on their way to the watch shop. The kids call Marissa and notify her that Danger is the timekeeper. However, Marissa assumes it's a prank and dismissively hangs up the call. As they enter inside, the timekeeper removes his mask, revealing himself to be Danger. He discloses that the Armageddon device is located within the OSS headquarters, and his henchmen are on the way to retrieve it. He then uses the circuit in their ID badges to freeze the OSS agents in time. However, Junie, whose badge was discarded by Carmen, remains unaffected. He immediately reaches out to Rebecca and Cecil, urging them to take action against the timekeeper's scheme. After this, Argonaut forcefully breaks the door, allowing the kids to escape. At the same time, Junie removes the badges from Marissa and Carmen, causing them to regain their mobility. Later, Cecil tries to enter a level 13 door containing an Armageddon device, but he notices a deadly machine and quickly closes the door. Rebecca approaches him and suggests that they should pretend to surrender to get closer to danger. Just then, TikTok and his henchmen arrive and capture the kids. Meanwhile, Wilson is engrossed in watching TV when he suddenly receives a call from Argonaut. The robot informs him that Rebecca and Cecil are in danger and urges him to save the kids. When the kids meet Danger, they ask him why he's doing all of this, and Danger confesses that his father was the mastermind behind the Wells experiment, and he was the young boy who became frozen in time. His father spent the rest of his life desperately attempting to set him free but failed and eventually died. One day, a group of scientists discovered the Chrono Sapphire, a substance derived from a meteorite with special qualities, such as the capacity to unfreeze him in time. When he was unfrozen, he realized that everyone he knew and loved had died. So, Danger longed to return to the past and share precious time with his father once more. So, he is now planning to use the Armageddon device to travel back in time and spend more time with his father. Hearing this, Cecil figures out that Danger has tried time travel multiple times, and each attempt makes things worse. He points out that TikTok and his gang are all versions of Danger. Rebecca, understanding his pain, advises him to use the time he has wisely, rather than trying to get more of it. When Danger steps into his time vortex, he eventually succeeds, most likely due to the Chrono Sapphire joining him through the time portal produced by his Armageddon device. He reappears immediately where the portal was, but as an aged version of himself. He then assures Cecil and Rebecca that they are right, that he can't change the past, and that his father is still dead. He tells them that people should not live in the past, but live a life moving forwards to the future. Just then, TikTok tries to intervene, but he is stopped by Wilbur, who reunites with Marissa and the children. When TikTok tries to flee again, Maria slams him to the ground, showing off her incredible strength. As the movie comes to an end, Carmen and Judy announce they'll run a new kid spy program together, with Rebecca and Cecil as their first recruits.